You have arrived at the KOE Nation. Welcome, one and all, to the KOE Nation for a very interesting spirits review. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man of the power, the man that makes you the podcast coward. You can, of course, find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and, of course, Twitter. And I am joined this evening by my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only... Oh, me, 15-time Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast champion, TikTok, Tony the Rod, non coppa friendly Tony fucking G. I am just excited to be here with you all, and sorry, I was checking my phone. It's fine. Not a big deal. I was just, I was just looking for some extra information for you, the viewer, because that's what you come here for, the honest review, the information, everything above and below. Sorry, I just wanted to know specifically when this little honey no pun intended, had been discontinued because this is something you will not find in a store unless you're extremely lucky, like myself. What we have here, Phil? What do we have? Bush Mills Irish Honey. A blend of triple distilled Irish whiskey, real Irish honey, and other natural flavors. On the back here, our master distiller has added a touch of real Irish honey and natural flavors to our legendary Irish whiskey to impart a deep flavor profile with a smooth, rich finish. So, T, we're going to do it. All right. Can't wait for the cork pop. Yep. That's beautiful. It's bush mills. It's, now, it's a twisty. These are the last clean glasses in Tony's basement right now. So we are doing the review with these. So bush mills did amazingly well in our Irish whiskey yeah, tournament. Bush mill was a just a fan favorite amongst us. I, amongst I, me in particular. I I can't stress enough. Even just bush mill white label, bush mill white label is such a under dog in the world of Irish whiskey. You got to understand it's so good it's it's available you ah. jameson fans i know i know but bushmills it's good and i'm i'm honestly having trouble finding when they discontinued this but it it's been discontinued for i would say at least oh probably coming up on five years this has not been around for maybe five years uh i remember when it first came out I wasn't really buying bottles of whiskey when this came out. It was shortly after that, and it was still available. And I'd seen it about a year ago in a liquor store. I'm like, wow, still some bottles of that out there. Didn't buy it. Went back about a year later. It was still sitting there. I, yeah, I, I got to have this. It, it, look at it. Come on. When am I going to see it again if I don't buy it right now? It'll probably be gone the next time I stumble into this. So... Came home with me. Now this is again Bushmills Irish Honey. It's thirty-five percent ABV. Now this is a a whiskey, not a liqueur. So keep that in mind. It's just, mm. oh, I mean, does it say flavored whiskey? Oh, blend of triple distilled Irish whiskey, real what? Irish honey, real Irish honey, and other natural flavors. So it's a blend. Of whiskey, and a blend of whiskey, so, so it's, it's liqueur probably. adjacent. Well, we're about to find out because it smells like a honey bun. It smells a lot more like whiskey than I expected it to. I'll be honest. It's smelling a lot less like whiskey than I expected. <sighs> well, no, I, I didn't expect. I, I expect to smell like a honey bear. It smells like a honey bun to me. The more ironic thing is we're drinking it in a Jameson glass. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's delish. Mm. That's dangerous. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, that's lovely. That's delicious. Um, oh, that's lovely. Wow. A little bit of honey. Oh, there's, get a a lot lot of, of honey on the there's a lot of honey, but I'll be frank, there's less honey than I expected. Uh, I, I, I thought this was going to be a lot thicker, but no, it's it's uh, it's definitely whiskey thin. It's not like drinking honey. This is, this is really pleasant. Really nice. Mm. Wow. 
Well, Tony, we're going to grade this on a couple of five-star scales. Don't you want to dive into all the flavors? Honey? <laughs> of honey. No. So we're going to grade it's this. It's fucking honey. As a liqueur. I don't know if you... I don't know if you're going to pick up on that, but it's honey. Yeah. We're going to grade it as a liqueur. Fair. We're going to grade it as an Irish whiskey. Yep. We're going to grade it as... Eh, I don't know if whiskey is fair, but... I No, no it, it's, it's whiskey. Okay. We'll grade it as a whiskey. Then it's shelving. And for those new to the show, secret fifth question. Okay. So, as a liqueur... It's tremendous. Yeah. Uh, as a liqueur, I'm, you know, yeah, this is beautiful. I love honey. Uh, especially if I'm drinking scotch, I want honey to be one of the Or Irish flavors. whiskey, even. Well, okay. Sure. But you don't think honey when you're thinking Irish whiskey. Like, when I'm drinking, like, a Speyside scotch, I, I want, I demand, I expect honey. I like that natural honey flavor. This is super honey. This so is like, Irish. So you like Glenfiddich? Yes, yes, I do. But I I really, really like the honey flavor. I thought this was going to be very overwhelmingly honey. That was why I didn't pull the trigger on it the first time I saw it. I'm glad I did because that's that's really not overwhelmingly honey. It's just the right amount of sweet. It's not extra thick. It's still the right consistency. This is this is marvelous. Hmm. So As a liqueur, I'm going to go... I'm gonna go three seven five. I gotta agree. I gotta agree. Three seven five. As an Irish whiskey. Uh, as an Irish whiskey. You go either way. You can either say one star or four stars. Uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunately the, the case. Uh, I'm gonna go two point two five as an Irish whiskey. Kind of merge those I'm two. I'm gonna go scales two seven together. five because if you like Irish whiskey. This is a liqueur to check out. Uh, you that can gives us an average of two and a half. Dangerous cocktails. Oh, yeah. This. As a whiskey, um, three stars. Really? Oh. Imagine making this with Coke. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I'd go Coke. With the honey being root obviously... Pro yeah, more of a root beer. Um, maybe... RC Cola? Uh, maybe. I was thinking more of a... You'd almost do like a orange or a citrus and you really get a, a nice yeah like a Fanta yeah something like that okay a, a simple cocktail really if that's the case you talked me into a 325 wow um okay it's shelving strangely enough this would sit on my middle shelf I, it, it's more of a liqueur so it's gonna go bottom for me it, to me, it's just kind of a talking piece novelty, so sure. I would have to go that route. Um, in terms of secret fifth question, when this bottle runs empty, will I seek another, or will you? Now, what did you pay for this again? At the time of the release, I want to say this was about a $25 bottle. I found it on the shelf in a small little liquor store that probably didn't even know what they had. They could have probably put it behind the counter, charged twice as much, but I I believe it was 33. Ooh, yeah. I'd, I'd definitely pick this up if I could find it for 33 bucks. Yeah, which, Ooh. good luck. Yeah. It's one of the last bottles you'll find, and especially this state. Yeah. So, folks, as I'm known to say right here, all that being said, folks, without, you don't get honey without bees, as I believe it was either Voltaire or Machiavelli who said, and this is definitely worth a sting or two if you can find your way to it. So, folks, I'm proud of that one. I'm proud of that one. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. I hope all of you will join us here at the KOE Nation and like, share, subscribe on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and now also Twitter. Raise a glass to yourself with the milk of human kindness and full of Irish honey, too. I hope all of you make it back here happy, healthy, much the wiser, and now slick like honey. I hand it over to Tony G. Is that too many? How sweet it is. Perfect. I'm just Tony fucking G. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for joining us for this very unique, hard to find, almost impossible discontinued review. 
Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on the next. Thank you.